Bend on the run. Bend on the run. Kind of tastes like strawberries. Bend on the run. Bend on the run. Bend on the run. Howdy, Traveler. In this segment of Bend on the Run, we're going to talk to local historian Jim Kroll and see exactly what he's talking about here at the Deschutes Historical Museum. We're at the Deschutes Historical Museum, which uh, is inside Reed School. Reed School was the first modern school building built by the citizens of Bend. It opened for school September 1914 to about 240 school kids. Um, the museum's been here since 1980. It's run by the Deschutes County Historical Society. It has two floors worth of exhibits covering uh, from prehistoric Deschutes County through uh, contemporary history. But lots of people do all kinds of volunteer and charitable work in Bend. I kind of consider this my giving back to the community that has been you know, so nice to me. Everything on this side of the river from the Healy Bridge and in fact much upstream, everything belonged by 1916 to the Shovel and Hickson Company. And everything on the other side, including all those bluffs up there, clear to Colorado, clear to the parkway, clear to the Colorado Bridge, all of that on that side was Brooks Scanlon. As a result, Ben grew per capita between 1910 and 1920 more than any other city in the United States. So the two mills, both geographically, and you can imagine the size of what we're talking about, geographically, socially, economically, dominated this town until 1950. But with those two companies cutting the way they did since 1916, in December of 1950, Brooks Scanlon bought Shevlin Hickson and closed it down. And at that time I was an eighth grader and Ben was roughly 10,500 people. But these two mills during World War II became the two largest pine saw mills in the world, running seven days a week, 24 hours a day. But when you've been in one town for 70 years and you've watched it pretty closely as I have, that's how you get tabbed. I'm old, that's why I'm on the program. So that's not bad though. It's not bad though.